PrimoPlan 75 is the most famous portrait lens ever produced by Meyer Optic. In 2018, we will make a flawless lens design even better and create its successor, the Meyer P75 II. Being designed in the 1930s, the popular PrimoPlan 75 became a victim to the war and politics and only 2,000 were produced. Join us in this unparalleled historic and innovative venture and support our project now. One year ago, NetSE, the company behind Meyer Optic, contacted me online. They asked me if I wanted to review their new lens before anyone. So I said, of course I want. So they answered, okay, we are sending you the lens right now, but please wait a little bit before posting your review. We will tell you when we are ready. I received the lens. I asked them, when exactly do you want me to post the review? And I have no answer. I wait for two weeks and I ask again, no answer. I ask for two more weeks and I ask again, still no answer. And because I had no answer, I, I was thinking maybe they need more time to work on the lens and, and to work on the communication. So because I was waiting, I just put the lens inside a box and kept working on my other projects. And to be honest, I totally forgot about the lens for a year, until a week ago. And I just remembered I never uh, reviewed this lens. I don't even know if it's a good lens. So, and I, I started to think, is it really a scam? Uh, is this company trying to scam people on Kickstarter and Indiegogo? So I just had to, to test the lens and to show you the result I got with this lens. So I would really love to say that this lens is a big piece of crap and everything was a huge scam. But I have to be honest with you, I just love this lens. So the build quality is great. There is 14 blades on the diaphragm. Bokeh is amazing. The sharpness in the center is just perfect. And when I used it for portraits, I was really pleased with the dreamy quality of the images. And when I say it's a dreamy quality, it's not like the shitty soft focus that some brands try to make you feel like it's a, it's a thing, it's a trend. No, it's just shitty focusing. But here, it's more something organic, more close to the quality of a middle format lens. So I, I really enjoy this quality around the face. Does the people from Meyer Optic were all scammers? I really can't say that because this lens is pretty amazing. So if they just wanted to get a lot of money and, and, and scam people and send them shitty products that doesn't work, why make the first ones so great? So should it cost around $2,000? Absolutely not. It's way too expensive for a lens. Don't run after trends and stupid uh, gimmicks. For me, I think the people who made the lens worked honestly and did their best to, to do a really great product. But maybe the head of the company, the people who really take the commercial and, and communication decision, were more about money and less about passion. But I really feel bad for the people who lost a lot of money in this, uh, not scam, but like, uh, like sad story of a failure to, to, to deliver the product. So I'm just giving my uh, opinion on this lens. I'm not saying it, it's a bad lens because it was a scam, or I'm not saying it was a scam at all. I just think it was a bad period to trade for this company. And they made a lot of people angry, but for me, I can't blame them for making shitty products because this lens was really a great one. So don't forget to subscribe, uh, check my other Weird Lenses reviews, and I see you really soon on another episode. Thanks. And subscribe to my Instagram also, please. <laughs>